So now we are proceeding towards uh, showing the different methods of extraction just explained now. This glass chamber generally we are using for cold maceration method. You can see the glass chamber here. Here the different <coughs> quantities of drug as per our requirement we are putting inside and it is soaked with different type of solvent as per our requirement and we are keeping it for 24 hours by closing the lid with occasional stirring. This method is one of the oldest and traditional method of extraction. This method is very suitable for the constituents which are particularly thermolabile. As you can see here, we are not applying any heat. So for the, for the thermolabile substance, this type of methods are very uh, suitable. Now coming to the next method, this one is known as percolator. You can see here, the, it is made up of stainless steel. This is the percolator and this is the lid. Now in this percolator, we are opening the lid and we are slowly putting the drug inside of the required quantity. Then we soak it with sufficient quantity of solvent as per our requirement. Then we are close the lid and keep it for at least 24 to 48 hours. Now after 24 to 48 hours, we slowly open the nozzle so that the solvent deep from here. So when it falls, so inside what happens due to the osmosis, the whatever the constituent present inside the cell is mixed with the solvent and it comes here. Now, when we collect the solvent here, so it is well understood that inside the quantity of solvent will be minimized. So the same quantity of fresh solvent will be added further through, through this lid and then again wait for some 24 to 48 hours. This process will be continuous, continued at least for 2 to 3 cycles so that the maximum efficient quantity of solvent uh, extraction is achieved. This is also one of the traditional method of extraction technique. Now <coughs> coming to the next part. This method nowadays in the most of the lab we are using this method is known as the Soxlet method of extraction. The principle involved here is continuous hot percolation method. <coughs> Let us come to the board. This is the Soxlet apparatus. This Soxlet apparatus consists of three different parts. First one is the round bottom flask. This one is the Soxlet and the above one is the condenser. Now inside the sock sled, we are keeping our drug. This drug, we are making the thimble, which I will show you. And then we are putting it here. Then we put sufficient quantity of solvent and through this siphon tube, the solvent run and, for, and deposit in the round bottom flask. This round bottom flask we keep generally on a heating mantle and heat is provided. Due to the heat when the solvent gets evaporated through this vapor tube the evaporated solvent goes here and when it comes in contact with the condenser this solvent vapor condenses and fall as a liquid on the top of the drug and this cycle continues. So this is known as continuous uh, percolation method as you can see here the same solvent is used again and again for the uh, uh, extraction purpose that's why it is known as continuous hot percolation method. Here we are applying heat that's why it is hot. This method is generally used to uh, extract uh, the uh, uh, phytoconstituent from any plant species. The main advantage of this method is the yield. The percentage yield is high compared to the uh, cold maceration and cold percolation method. Let us uh, see uh, the process. As I just told, this is the heating mantle. This is the round bottom flask. This is known as the socks chamber.
this is the paper tube and this is the siphoning tube and this is made up of filter paper this is known as thimble now we are putting our drug inside that and we are slowly dipping it inside <coughs> inside the socks leg in this manner now after putting that you close this lid with the help of the condenser so this is the water inlet and this is the water outlet so by this method we are doing the socks leg method of extraction so these are uh, the various techniques routinely used in our laboratory in order to perform the various extraction method thank you